đẹp 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 trái ơi bôi ăn đi ơi yeah 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 phải yeah. xong bán <cười> feels like a date does it I got squirted on bro no 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 that's not okay bro boy you want some Hey guys, Sydney Food Boy here and today we're doing a tour of the best food in Chinatown. And we've got $100 here. We're going to see how much delicious food that we can get from all these amazing small businesses. And I'm bringing my boy along. His name's Kevin Cheng from Seoul of Chinatown. Let's go eat some delicious food, baby. For our first stop, we're running into Sussex Center, which is a building with a food court upstairs. There's some pretty cool stuff in this uh, place. You've got the Happy Chef, the Laksa, and they do some amazing combination noodles too. But we're going to go check out another spot today. One, two, three, oh. Our first stop for today is a Hong Kong noodle bar inside Sussex Centre. It's called Quan Noodle Bar. And there is one particular dish that we're getting here. Curry fish balls. Curry fish balls. Cool. Yeah, so the restaurant Quan is named after his daughter. Mm. So you can see like the caricatures of her. So mm. it's really cute, you know. His mum's at the front, he's at the back. Mm. So nice little family business. That's awesome, right, man. Right up your alley. Right up my alley. Alright, so what do you got here? So this is curry fish balls. Curry yeah, fish balls. Pork skin. Did you remember how to say this in Cantonese? Because I didn't. Kali dan. There you go. That's yeah, yours. Oh, cheers, man. That's ours. It's like a classic street food, man. Yeah. But this version slightly different. Yeah. It's, it's not. Like, it's not as yellow yeah, as I remember. It's not as like curry taste. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the balls are bigger. Balls too, bro. Cheers. Cheers, bro. It's probably hot. Curry fish balls. It's almost like um, it's not like the curry that I remember. It's more like a laksa type of curry. Yeah. Is that right, you? Yeah, it's, it's less intense. Yeah. Probably for like local taste. The whole one in Hong Kong is like super curry, right? They've yeah. got to be bouncy, man. They are very bouncy. Yeah, very bouncy. Super bouncy. Yeah, bro. And the other thing that we ordered with this is the pig skin. It looks like to me they got um, like a pork crackling, and then they put it in. Just dunk it in. Yeah. Because it, it looks, up. it looks fried, I suppose. Yeah. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. And then it just soaks up all the. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's more spice than I thought there was. <laughs> it definitely soaks up a lot of that. The curry sauce. I'll oh, drink. Spice. I'll drink the curry sauce, bro. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah, man. Can I drink it? Oh, I need some noodles now, yeah. Location one done. Actually, we decided to get a cart noodle because the fish ball was good. <laughs> Brisket, beef offal, let's do chota, and maybe one of the balls. Yeah, make it tangy. Yeah, 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 that's fine. All right, cool. This is my first time trying this actually. This is a cart noodle. For those of the viewers who don't know, what is a cart noodle? As the name suggests, yeah, like people back in the day used to come around in the carts mm. and then you'd, they'd serve the noodles uh, customizable. So it's all like DIY, you know, you choose the toppings you like. Mm. Super popular in Hong Kong, man. So you'll see a lot of people queuing up, and then when they order, it's like bang, 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 like, what do you want? What type of noodles? What type mm. of soup? Mm. What type of toppings? Yeah, I'd imagine like back in the day, like the auntie will come out and yeah. she'd like shout, like, Tai Kai Ho! Yeah! <laughs> card noodles! I think the coolest thing about the card noodles is you can choose your own toppings. What'd you choose? Here. Squid balls, some beef offal, what do you call it? Beef brisket as well. Yeah, man, look at that. Whoa. I love this noodle, bro. It's yeah, like this is my favorite noodle too. You know I love Cambodian noodles. This is the one that we always order, bro. So, I grew up loving this. My mouth's watering, man. <laughs> oh, nice. Tangy, a little bit spicy. Almost like halfway to mala. Yeah, it's got that mala flavor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the beef's good. I'm gonna try this radish for the first time. Tastes like my auntie's cooking. Oh, this is the best thing, man. This is, uh, I believe, beef stomach tripe. If you ever see this at Hot Pots and Malatang, man, chuck it in. Very good blood jelly. I think the best thing in this bowl is actually the, the, the blood jelly. Probably the best blood jelly I've had in Sydney. I reckon so too. It is really tasty, like, more than usual. It's like bouncy when you bite into it, but then it melts in your mouth. So I like you, man. Always order the weird stuff. The rest is for Brian. Yeah. Oh, cheers, bro. What's that? Thank you. Oh, goodness me. Food just keeps coming out. Pig trotters, eh? Ah, oh, trotters, man. You can always sell by the, the jiggle, bro. Oh. Oh, that would taste really good, rice. You know, um, in Vietnamese, there's something called tik ho, braised pork belly, caramelized pork belly with the coconut juice, and like yes. that same same sort of vibe, bro, with that sauce. That was only our first stop. You ready for more? <laughs> yeah, bro, let's do it. <laughs> On to the next. Mm. 
Next up, Mother Cheese. It's a Taiwanese gourmet, Taiwanese restaurant. Taiwan number one. <laughs> Taiwanese boy. <laughs> So we've got an assortment of traditional Taiwanese 3D snacks. Taiwanese food is very similar to Chinese food, but it's not the same. So you can liken it to like American food or English food and Australian food. It's all very similar, but we've all have our different tastes because Taiwan has a long history of, you know, like with the Dutch, the Portuguese, Japanese, you know, there is no kind of like one way of saying what is Taiwanese food, but more like a mishmash of different culture. This is all very cool stuff. I imagine this is like a, like street food in Taiwan. Like breakfast is a big thing. That's what Mother Chews is quite famous for as well. So if you like carbs, go to Taiwan and have breakfast. What's this called in Taiwanese? Oh, it's called a uh, fan tuan. Fan tuan. Mm. Wow, very crunchy. Yeah, I love that feeling on the inside, man. Pork floss as well inside. Pork floss is delicious. Yeah. And you pair it up with this. This is um, soy milk and rice milk. Mm. That is a very good breakfast. <laughs> I really like that. Come here, nine o'clock in the morning, yeah? Get one of these and get this soy milk, rice milk thing. It's actually the most solid breakfast. And then have a nap. Mm. <laughs> That's like a sweet soy. That's probably for the pancake. This smells like an Indonesian ketchup manis. Mm. Right? Yeah, similar. So we got our scallion pancake. I'm just gonna dribble. Let's do half of it like that. Cheers. Oh, that sauce really makes a nice touch to it. Mm. This would taste really good around that fried breadstick, eh? You know what? I'm doing it. Oh, yeah. that's good. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one. Right. So this one here is the specialty, isn't it? Like, this is the, the Taiwanese golden child, right? Yeah, it's a black pepper bun. I think this is the only place in Sydney. That does it? Yeah. Thank you. You can see how fatty the pork is. That's the secret. Yeah. It looks like a burger patty. Oh, that pork is so tender. Mm. All right, this is really good. It's like crispy, but also flaky. I thought this thing was my favorite. Nah, bro, this thing's my favorite. Well, this one out. Mm. This is pork. If there was such a thing as wacky pork, this is wacky pork. <laughs> it just tastes so soft. What's mm. going on? How many times have you eaten this? Not many, yeah? to be honest. <laughs> well, <laughs> for some reason, because I thought, you know, I know you're Taiwanese. Uh. I just imagined you eating this every single day in your childhood. <laughs> It's like a night market food. Nah, that, that's incredible bro, it tastes really good. Gotta try the dumplings, yeah? These dumplings are a little bit different to the sort of Chinese dumplings that we know. Taiwanese dumplings have pork and cabbage, classically. We got our dumplings fried, get a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of chili on that. I definitely haven't tasted this filling before. Yeah, not with cabbage? No, I have with cabbage, but it tastes a little bit different. Like there's different seasonings to it. 100% Taiwanese is pretty much similar looking, but Tastes different. I think that's a good way to describe it. The skin's great, man. The skin is great. Yeah, go to like a northern Chinese restaurant. The skin's thicker. Yeah, this is a nice medium. We just wanted to see with this because this came in in this, this fried breadstick, and it was so crispy. Hey, apparently it's made fresh. Like they hand roll that uh, this themselves, fried to perfection, man. Like I've never seen one so beautiful before. It's beautiful, bro. Oh my goodness me. This is the perfect breadstick. I don't think it gets better than this one. Nah, what do you reckon? Legit, legit. Mm. This needs a dip into something. <laughs> this is good. I just imagine I'm a Chinese uncle, bro. I just finished at the work site, man. Dai lo. Crispy chicken. Shit. In my opinion, the best fried chicken. Taiwanese fried chicken. Yeah, Taiwanese fried chicken. The secret is the five spice. The other secret is the basil, the fried basil. They fry the basil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Man, it's aromatic as. Taiwanese fried chicken, cheers. Beautiful. The batter is so light, mm. but crispy at the same time. There's a lot of tapioca flour or sweet potato flour that they use in yeah. Taiwanese cooking. That's why I like it. It's so light. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to shred for barley, bro. <laughs> the batter definitely reminds you of hot stuff. It's like bubbly, you know? Like, not, not crazy crispy, but more like bubbly. Like it has that bubbly, airy taste throughout the whole crispy batter shell. I think we're throwing the $100 challenge out the window, yeah? Let's go to the next spot. So what's happening here? Yeah, this is for um, Neon Playground Festival. Yeah. It's a street festival coming up in Chinatown. 
So I've got like artworks throughout the whole street, yeah. Asian Australian artists, really exciting. Yeah, man, it's cool to do something in Chinatown, like something's happening yeah. to try to bring people, more people down. It looks colorful like it used to be, eh? Yeah, man, and at <laughs> night it's gonna light up, so we're stoked. Can't wait to check it out. Next stop, Nanjing Dumpling. Uh, can we get one of these? Steamed prawn and pork dumplings, yeah. and pan fried beef dumplings. Thank you. Damn, bro. So, there are three must orders here at this restaurant for me. Maybe four. One's the Xiaolong Bao, which we didn't order today. The second one is this. This is the pork and prawn dumpling. And the third one is the beef dumpling. It's not often that you see beef dumplings, but this one is a very nice one and it's fried. Let's make our sauce, man. I learned from someone on the Ashfield video that they do one third soy sauce, one third vinegar, and one third chili oil. Shout out to that person. That's, that's my sauce. One third soy, one third vinegar, one third chili oil, or roughly anyway. Oh yeah, all right, let's go. They're juicy on the inside, really, really juicy. And um, the dumpling wrapper itself, the way they've done it, it's very soft. Soft and delicate. Really, really beefy taste. Oh, look at that. Oh, juice coming out. Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> try this one, try this one. So this is their porn and pork. I think I just said porn and pork. You can say, like, you can see, if you look close at the dumpling, how much soup there is on the inside. It's just ready to come out. So when you eat it, watch out. Yeah. It's ready to come out. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Corn is juicy. Did it come out in your mouth? That's really awesome. Yeah, I reckon these are the best dumplings in Chinatown. Yeah. Maybe even the whole city. I don't know. It's got like the prawn bounciness on the Yeah. Right now. I really like these dumplings. Yeah. Which one do you like better? Probably that one. What about you? It's hard, bro. Yeah. Different. I think I think for me, like my taste buds are very pork dumpling. That being said, like that dumpling wrapper is incredible, man. Like for a fried dumpling, that's yeah. really good stuff. And it's not like the fried dumpling that you'll find at other places. Both of these mm. have a lot of soup broth inside. Like yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. Kind of sets it apart. Yeah, these dumplings are a bit more on the pricey end. So they're, I think each dish, there's six dumplings, but they're quite big. But each dumpling order is $14. But yeah, they're really good dumplings. So I do reckon they're worth the money. Brian, Come please, mate. Brian, please. Hey. <laughs> On to the next. Next up is Xi'an Cuisine, home of some of the most affordable noodles you'll find in the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna get a pork pita bread and oil of nice sliced noodle, vegetables and spicy sauce. So cheap. Not cheap, bro. It's ridiculous. Cheap. City. Smells like smells like Sydney, man. <laughs> Soak it in. Yeah. The sewers. Yeah, there's a sewer right there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, the big seven dollars fifty for these noodles. Must be the cheapest bowl of handmade noodles in Sydney, I reckon. You're saying that these are handmade? Yeah, the auntie hand makes the noodles every day, which is even more ridiculous yeah. for that price. Yeah. You've got the garlic. You've got the chili powder. Spring onions, probably a couple other spices in there. Whole thing's just had hot oil splash all over, and then vinegar and other sauces too. Very fragrant. And then we also got something called uh, Roll Jiamo. Roll Jiamo. Roll Jiamo. Yeah. Effectively, it's like a Xi'an style pork hamburger, like it's their version of a hamburger. And you've got bread on the outside, of course, and you got this beautiful, juicy looking pulled pork on the inside. Is that right? Yeah, or well, sometimes they'll like chop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. too nice. Yeah. Give it a give it a mix. Give it a good mix. All right, you ready for this, Brian? Whoa, seven dollar it is fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just amazed at that price, dude. It's... Can I swear on this channel, though? No. Uh, you can, but we'll beep it. This is f outrageous. Like, I know there's no like no meat or protein, but but still, still it's work, man. There's a lot of food we're eating today. Just a little bit. They're very soft, these noodles. Real slippery. Slippery, yeah. Bit of soy, bit of vinegar, garlic. It definitely, it's like, to me, it doesn't um, taste like an oil splash noodle I've had before. It definitely has more of like a stir-fried taste. If you had wok fried this, you would just have a bit more like wok hay. But it has all the same ingredients, I reckon. It is very um, thin, the noodle. I'd probably prefer it with a bit more chew. But hey, man, $7.50. Sometimes when I work in Chinatown, come here, get this, $7.50. Yeah, let's try this. Should we just bite it? 
Yeah, I can just buy it. Buy it. Oh, and then we'll share it. Cool. Do you watch your own? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you? Mm. This is one of the best versions I've had of this. This one has a very nice bread to it. Not overly dense and not overly crispy. Would recommend. Would recommend. I'm stuffed, bro. This is, uh, this is a lot of food, but we're doing it for the people. For the culture. For the culture. For the people. And for Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, ăn đi. Đẹp, đẹp, đẹp trái ơi. Boy, ăn đi. <laughs> too full for dessert? Nah, I think we can do it, bro. I think we can do it too. Hong Kong day dessert. I thought we were having one. I also thought we were having one. But stuff happens, you know. <laughs> we got a whole table full of uh, Hong Kong style desserts. We got the egg waffle. We got the sesame. What do you call this? Sesame soup? Yeah, sesame, sesame and then walnut. Sesame and walnut, um, like hot dessert. We got the mango sago. I think this one has pomelo as well. We got mango pancakes and we have a crepe cake. And this is all the, the stuff that you'll see when you're in Hong Kong and you're going to like little dessert shops over there. We're so lucky to have this stuff here in Sydney as well, in Chinatown. Um, I reckon we should try the egg waffle first, what do you yeah, reckon? Right. Now you've eaten this a lot more than I have, so... These little bubbles, they're like so convenient, you can just yeah. like... Yeah, crack it, yeah? yeah. Ah. Whoa. Now I know a lot of the time you can actually get this in like a cone, right? Uh, with the waffles and then you'll get ice cream and mm. stuff like that on top as well, so... It's actually a very common thing to have at night time for dessert. What's next? This one? Or oh, that one? Nah, this one, this one. Man, this looks awesome. Mango sago. Sago is like little, uh, like little pearls, right? Yeah. If you love tapioca pearls like boba, you'll probably love uh, sago as well. This is actually my girlfriend's favorite dessert. This one has a uh, mango, has pomelo. Mmm, that's nice. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. Hey, that's your favorite saying. Kevin's one of the traditional not too sweet <laughs> Asian dessert guys. The ultimate man. compliment. Yeah. Not too sweet. Your cake at your wedding was not too sweet. For context, Kevin just got married. Yeah, they had an awesome wedding cake. Yeah, Easy. and it was not too sweet. You wanna dip one of these in, bro? Hello. Oh. Hmm. I feel like we have a lot of fat in our bellies right now. This really cuts through. Mm. This is one of the traditional Hong Kong desserts. It's like black sesame. Typically, you eat it hot or warm. I've never tried the walnut one before, though. Nah, neither. So this is cool. This is cool to see. It's hard to share like this, bro. It's a bit like a date. Sorry, Peggy. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> Tastes exactly like how black sesame tastes. <laughs> it's not too strong in the sesame taste, which I kind of like because um, sometimes you have versions of this with a very strong sesame taste. It's on the sweeter side. It is on the sweeter side. You eat black sesame to keep the, the white hair away, bro. I've got a few. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's why I shaved it off. You check out his fresh cut. Hey, man. Ooh. Shout out to Choir Hair Design in Cameron Matter. Oh! <laughs> oh, that walnut one tastes like. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I do like the black sesame one better though. I think the, the walnut one tastes a bit like milk to me. We've got to try this uh, this mango pancake for sure. Now, mango pancake is something that you can get at a lot of yum cha actually. Essentially, it's a very, very thin and soft crepe on the outside. Cream on the inside with mango. Oh, cheers. Cheers, bro. Mango season's coming back, hey? Yeah, bro. I love mango pancake. This is particularly like a Hong Kong thing. So this is a crepe cake. I like the way you jiggle, like jiggle. <laughs> Whoa. All right, let's go. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, God. Some sort of custard. That's really good. Ooh, that's nice, man. It is very nice. Ooh. That might be my favorite thing here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, okay, now it feels like a date. We're like sharing dessert. Yeah, I'm gonna feed you a bit. <laughs> feels like a date, does it? <laughs> That's a damn good cake, bro. That's cool. We calm. One more spot. One more. One more spot. <laughs> Chinatown, baby. Wanna try some, bro? <laughs> Alright, try, 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 try. All right, man. How can we do a Chinatown food tour without visiting Emperor's Garden? Emperor's Garden Puffs. Emperor's Cream, cream Puffs. Cream Emperor's puffs. Cream Puffs, yeah. This place usually has a very long line at night time, but they've been doing this thing for a very long time, eh? Gotta get a few. 
just for the journey home. <laughs> just trying to shred for Bali, man. I can feel the man babies coming out. <laughs> thank you, thank you. One for me, one for you, one for Brian. Seven for our girlfriends, yeah? <laughs> there you go. Thank you, man. This particular thing, got a custard puff. Essentially, it's a warm doughish on the outside, and then on the inside, it's hot custard. Always has a line, man. So we got this box of 10 for $5. You can get seven for $4. I think they're 60 cents each now. Yeah, bro. They used to be like 30, 35 cents each. When I first started coming here. Shout out inflation. Cheers, man. Shout out inflation. Cheers to you. Let's hope the interest rates go down, man, so we can afford housing, bro, you know? <laughs> you went straight in. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> you gotta proceed with mm. caution, man. It's very hot. Very hot. Oh. Look at that. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't want to squirt all, bro. <laughs> nah, nah, watch this. Oh, look at that. The thing about this place, consistent, man. It is consistent. It's just so good. I mean, it's just a machine that does the thing at the end and again. No. <laughs> it's not like it's handmade or anything, so there's no human error, it's just a machine. <laughs> Tipping just, point. Tipping point? We did well today, man. Brian, 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 sorry, sorry. Brian, you want some? All uh, right, put it in the girlfriend bag. Hey, uh, shout out to Brian, man. He's a cameraman, muscles. <laughs> he's a porter as well. Look at him. He's carrying our dao dao, man. Take away. <laughs> what would we do without him? Well, guys, that concludes our Chinatown food tour. I think that $100 budget went out the window, unfortunately. <laughs> There's too much good food to eat at every restaurant that we visited. So much good food that we missed out on a couple of really good spots as well, which we were planning to go to, which was Super Bowl for their congee, Dragon Espresso for their Hong Kong milk tea and iced tea, Happy Chef for their laksa and noodles. But every place that we went to today was exceptional as well. So what a great food tour, man. Yeah, man, come uh, down to Chinatown. Tell us a little bit about this. When's that happening just for the people watching yeah so it's a street festival street mm. art festival there'll be installations throughout Dixon Street you can probably see it behind us it'll be on from 15th of October until the 20th of November mm. so come down get some food walk around appreciate the art yeah yeah it's, it's all about bringing people back to Chinatown so yeah and hopefully this video gets you out here eating the amazing food that Chinatown has to offer as well Chinatown means a lot to all of us and it's nice to see it thriving again behind us after a lockdown world if you enjoyed today's video and you'd love to see more food tours around Sydney and just you know food videos around Sydney every single week hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like button to let me know that you love this video and go, go to Chinatown. Chinatown oh I'm stuffed bro I used to get a lot more different balls whoa 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 but out of all the balls that I like, these two are the best balls, you know what I mean? <laughs>